Hello, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are making something delicious. This stew is so yummy and it has hints of flavors of curry because we're using curry powder, we're using curry leaves and it just tastes so yummy and the flavor aroma is so so good and you can eat it with anything. So if you're interested, keep watching. These are the major ingredients you need for this recipe. First of all, you need eggs, maybe one. You need a green bell pepper. You can choose to omit it, but I love it in this recipe. I also have some tatashe. I have salt garlic powder, and it has a bit of parsley in it. I have then atarodo, which is like hot pepper, and you know, I can't cook without this. I also have here tomato puree, that is tomato paste, and then an onion, and some curry leaf. This makes this stew very, very fragrant, and I love it. And then we have the minced beef. You can use chicken if you want and then some tomatoes for the stew. To prep, I'll be cutting the onion into thin slices because that's how I want to see it in the stew. Some people don't like onion, I don't know why, but it gives a lot of deliciousness to a stew. If your stew is not like sweet and delicious, you're probably missing onion. <laughs> so add as much as you like. I'll be using a processor to blend the um, Tatashe, the tomatoes and the atarozo. That's just tomatoes, bell pepper, red bell pepper, and the scotch bonnet, and also the green bell pepper. So I'm just putting everything in the processor because I don't want it to be too smooth. There's a texture that I'm looking for, and that's why I'm using the processor. You can use your blender as well, or you can make your own um, tomato paste smooth. It depends on how you like it. Now this is the texture that I'm looking for. I wanted to see the specks of green and just little chunks of the tomatoes in there and I'm going to transfer it to a pot now so that it boils. You don't have to boil it before you start the stewing process but it hastens the stewing process. Do you get what I mean? So it's kind of like you're cooking it halfway before you start stewing it. So that's what I'm doing. To make the meatballs, I'm putting the minced beef in a bowl and then I'm adding some onions that's been chopped in tiny slices, some garlic powder with salt, crushed peppers. I'm also going to put the curry leaf. I've chopped it into little bits and then one egg. And of course, I'm going to be adding my gari to bind this meatball. I'm also adding some all-purpose seasoning. The purpose of using gari is to make sure it binds properly. You can use bread flour if you have that. I didn't have that at home, so I decided to use gari and it actually works perfectly. Now I'm just mixing all the ingredients to make sure they're properly incorporated. You can use your hands for this, but I'm using a fork. While we're mixing this beef means, make sure you take time out to just click the like button and turn on post notifications so that you get notified every time I release a new recipe. Now I'm going to be forming my balls. I've rubbed a bit of vegetable oil on my palms and that's for two reasons. First of all, so that the meatballs don't stick to my hands. Also, I have pepper in the meatballs so the oil acts as a barrier between the pepper and my hands. <laughs> so if you have vegetable oil, just put it on your palm and then do this um, rolling of the meatball process which I feel is very therapeutic. Now it's time to start the cooking process. I'm going to add some vegetable oil in a pan and I'll be using this pan to fry the meatballs and also make the stew. So I'm just adding the meatballs to the pan one after the other and I'm going to cook them till they are brown on the outside. It doesn't have to thoroughly cook because you're going to continue cooking it in the stew. Lately, I've been making meatballs a lot because my children love it and it is a very fast way of making a stew. <laughs> like dinner can be ready in like 30 minutes and they love meatballs. I just don't know what it is with kids and meatballs. 
this meatball sauce has been a great addition to our family menu and i'm always trying to keep things very very interesting if at this point you do not have a family menu or what we call a full time table what are you even doing like how are you coping with stress <laughs> i have a full time table that you can download and use for your family you can use this timetable for six months and you will never have to worry about what to cook the link is in the description box now that the meatballs are fried i'm going to transfer them to a plate and then we will continue with the stew so it's already released flavor in this oil so i'm adding onion right now to start the stew process so i'm just going to mix 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 and then we add curry powder this is the best time to add your curry powder anytime you're cooking something and you have to add curry powder put it in the oil also i'm going to add some dried thyme it always releases its fragrance or its aroma in the oil and that's the best time to put it now that i've fried a bit i'm going to add the tomato puree and just fry till you know that sour taste is gone which for this tomato puree does not take long about two minutes just fry it till it tastes good it's going to add a bit of sweetness to this stew which you want and it's going to add a bit of richness in color to the stew you know all those party stews this is how they make them they put tomato puree in the stews now i'm going to add our boiled tomato paste and just pour it into the pan and fry this till it is almost cooked i'll season with only a few things like you do not need a lot for this stew i'm going to season with some salt and then some beef seasoning powder make sure you always have time for your stew so you have to be patient and cook this on medium heat not high heat and which is what i'm doing just going to simmer gently till it is done Now the stew is almost done and you can tell because the oil is separating from the sauce and now I'm going to introduce or reintroduce the meatballs and then allow them to cook together so I'm just going to continually stir so that it doesn't burn. Egg. just look at how delicious that stew is looking so so delicious we use this meatball stew for anything basically anything you will use a stew for i use it for bread sometimes i dip my bread in it we use it for pasta we use it for rice it's just something nice to have at home because the kids love it so so much and i hope you try this recipe if you do please let me know to finish it off i'm going to sprinkle some of that curry leaf and i added a bit of parsley that i had at home and it just made it look so vibrant and even more gorgeous and tantalizing if you're watching and you've not turned on notification please do so so that you receive all my recipes i'll see you in my next video bye